Do you need to be an expert in everything to do with web design and WordPress? The simple answer is no. You don't have to be an expert in everything. And right now, there's a load of you that are either headbutting the screen, punching your mobile phone, or stamping on a solar system full of planets that you probably have on your wall. That made no sense. What am I talking about? Look, there's, there's some people out there that are saying to be a web designer, it's not going to be good enough just to kind of play around with page builders and stuff like that. And I regularly get questions coming in as well going, I want to be a web designer or I already am a web designer. I've been working on it for six months or a year. How much of an expert do I need to be in HTML and all of that? So let me just brutally get seriously honest with you. Do you need to be an expert in HTML? No. Do you need to be an expert in CSS? No. Do you need to be an expert in PHP or JavaScript? No, 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 no. Do I need to be an expert in everything to do with WordPress, every plugin out there? No. Do I need to know everything about servers and MTX and text records and emails and stuff like that? Again, no. All you need to be able to do is what you need to do. That was not said very well. Let me say it again. You just have to be able to get done what you need to do for you or your client. So you could, if you have a good understanding of what you're trying to deliver in terms of the presentation or the design or the layout, and again, you don't have to be an expert. I don't have a degree or some form of a work experience expertise in graphical design or anything like that but I have an eye for detail, or so I like to think, and not everyone will agree with my layout or how I like to do things or my color branding or palettes, but it is enough to get done what I need to do and to satisfy the client and to have other people look at it and go, hey, yeah, that's really good. If you have some understanding and appreciation of HTML or CSS, so you can take a page builder or some widget or some solution that someone's given you a step further, that's great. Maybe you've gone to CodePen and grabbed a bit of JavaScript and you go, well, I want it to do something different. I don't really know JavaScript, but I can see that line and I can see what I need to modify. Again, that could be completely enough for you. If you're being sponsored, you're an apprentice or an intern, or you have the investment to put aside to go and get a qualification or train and get really like hardcore with coding and all of that, go for it if it interests you. But don't do it if you're a little bit like, well, I really don't like that kind of stuff and I thought I could get away with just using page builders but I feel like I've got to do that. No you don't, okay? I can seriously tell you now, I do a lot of videos and tutorials and things and I mess around with a bit of code but technically a bulk of the websites I've built I could have got away with not doing any of that. Maybe it was me wanting to do something a little bit different for a client. Maybe I didn't want to use a plugin solution. Code snippets, Half of those code snippets I get from either ChatGPT or other people, or I modify something that already exists, or I'm using site origin CSS to help me write a bit of CSS. Doesn't make me a CSS expert. What I'm trying to get to here is you are good at what you do if it delivers what you need to get done, okay? Because remember, a client probably could not have achieved their goal without you. If you want to learn, and you can see an advantage to that, to your CV, to opening doors for you, go for it. But can you get away with building a website without any of those skills? Yes, you can. And before anyone starts to comment and throw things at me, please understand, certain types of websites are always gonna require you to go to the next level. So that's where you do need to have an appreciation for what you can do. But for some websites, a page builder and everything that comes within it is enough. That's all you need. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. And follow me as we delve into this WordPress jungle. I'll see you soon.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.